Hi everyone, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. I have something exciting to share with you guys. Um, this is uh, a project share for In Love Art. Um, I didn't know if you guys watched my package opening and if you did, you would have saw that I got this die and it's a Ferris wheel. And I'll have the links down below for you to go check it out and, and purchase it if you would like. It's so much fun and I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. I was going to wait and do some more projects with the other dies and then share them all at once. But I could not wait to share it with you guys. Um, so there is a tutorial on her uh, on In Love Arts YouTube channel. And you can see how she puts it together. Um, and then I have some extra parts in it. That's what you're looking at. Um, but... Um, I went outside the box and I made a shaker, you guys. I made a shaker with the Ferris wheel. I can't wait to share it with you guys um, for 4th of July. And how I did the shaker, just real quick, um, this is the Ferris wheel. It is open in the back, you know, because it has the slots. So what I did to create a shaker was I just grabbed some circle dies that I had in my sash. And the large, this is a Gina Marie set, and the large one actually fits right perfectly with the Ferris wheel. So I was able to make my shaker using this die and the Ferris wheel. And I did use some papers from um, this Americana. This is a Pebbles paper pad, um, six by six. And I did use some of these papers to create my background, okay? So let me show you. I'm so excited, you guys. Look. Oh my gosh. Look at this card. I absolutely love it. The shaker's in there. And then when you turn it, the shaker bits move, you know, and I have the red, white, and blue shaker bits in there. Isn't that cool? Oh my gosh. I love this card, you guys. I don't think I'll, I'll uh, give it away. <laughs> I might have to keep it. So it's really, really cute. I love, I love that it's a shaker. Love that. Okay, so what I did was um, I used some silver foiling uh, white paper in the background. It has stars on it. The stars are in silver, fo silver foil. I used a piece of regular red cardstock for that matting piece there. And then I used the six by six paper pad for this red, white, and blue. And then of course um, I used some glitter glitter papers some glitter blue and red and silver and then I made the the um star in the middle is actually cut out with um this star paper again the white with the silver foil stars on it and then the little cars that are on the little baskets that are on the um ferris wheel I alternated the colors the red white and blue all the way around shaker bits I had in my stash red white and blue shaker bits and then I put some of these enamel dots on here. And these enamel dots, I don't remember. Um, they might be a pebbles. I think that was, they were pebbles. Um, I don't know if you remember oh, when we went to Tuesday morning, we picked up those. Um, the, they have these little, they're not even enamel. They're kind of, they feel kind of rubber. But they were shaped into a flag. Uh, and they were red, white, and blue. I think that's where that came from. Um, so yeah, and then the happy, I just, um, cut these letters out with a die I had. It could have been scented a little more, but I had already glued them down. And I didn't want to rip the paper. So, um, it could have been centered just a little bit more. I would have been happier, but I'm happy the way it is. So I did happy here. I did the number four and TH down here, fourth. And then I put glossy accents on top of the words, um, so they would pop out. So I absolutely love this card and I can't believe that I, I had the patience enough to um, make it a shaker because I did not see anyone yet make a shaker card with this die. Actually, I haven't seen anybody besides the tutorial on the In Love Art um, store um, on their YouTube channel. I haven't seen anybody else make anything with the Ferris wheel yet. Um, so so uh, so exciting and then here's the inside i just made it kind of simple you can write your message and like i said i'm probably going to keep this card for a while because i absolutely love it so pretty okay and it's fun so that was the first card that i did with this die and then here's the second card and this um card is actually following um the tutorial on uh her channel on youtube and i use the fun pastel colors um, the light blue, the silver glitter, and then the yellow. And I made the inside of the wheel pink. 
there is a background in back of the wheel and it is little um, X's and they're in pastel colors. The little cars, I did them yellow, blue, and red and I alternated them all the way around. I used the pink brad. Now, I forgot to tell you on this card too, I did use the brad. You have to use the brad um, in order to um, give the, you know, let the wheel spin. You gotta use the brad so it would spin. So here's this one. And this one is not a shaker, but I still love it because I love the colors. So this is um, paper here I punched with Martha Stewart uh, punch, the little stars. The enamel dots come from CC Designs, I believe. The um, papers I used um, in this one, I had some plain pastel papers, but then this yellow gingham piece, I got that from this paper pad. Now I've had this paper pad a really long time. It's a Martha Stewart. It's really pretty. It's got great colors in here. I love, love, love this paper and it's almost gone. Um, but that's where I got that yellow gingham. And then I used one of my new uh, wooden block stamps. It says happy birthday. And then here's the inside. Super cute, right? Oh my gosh, I love this die. You guys have to go to In Love Art and get it. And I would appreciate if you went over there, use my discount code to purchase it because this way um, she knows that she's getting business from my uh, channel and my videos, okay? So with this one, I use a little pink um, brad and it has silver around the, the, around the outside of it. It's just really, really fun. It's a fun die, you guys. A really fun die. And um, here it is here. It comes with um, one, two, three, four, five pieces. Okay, so you get the circle. You get the inside star piece. You get the legs. Okay, you get the little basket that you put on. And then you get the little circle in the middle to uh, create your, um, you know, create it so it would spin. Um, so what you do is you cut this little circle out twice and then you put foam adhesive on the inside. Now what I did um, is I just cut out a whole piece of foam. See this foam here? I just cut out a piece of foam. I put one of these on either side. And then once you put your brad through it, that allows it to move, okay? So really, really nice style. And like I said, um, go check her YouTube channel out. If I remember, I'll leave the link down below and see her tutorial video. She'll show you how to put this together. And um, so please, you guys, if you go over and make a purchase, use my discount code. And um, thank you so much for coming over and, and watching. I'm so excited about these cards today to share with you. I'm sorry I didn't do a Saturday morning mix. I've been very, very busy. And um, I'm going to be busy tomorrow, but I have a surprise. I want to share with you guys what I found and what I picked up. Um, and I'll just give you a little hint, okay? I scored on like a whole bunch of wooden stampin up sets that are mostly all brand new and tomorrow morning i'm meeting another lady and i'm um, getting more so <laughs> i know i'm crazy i'll be all set for stamps for the next 10 years um stacy if you're watching she laughed at my post on facebook <laughs> about the stamp so i have pictures over there on facebook so thank you guys again for watching please go over and check out the in love art shop check out all the new dies that are, that are coming in and also check out this ferris wheel die it is awesome and um you'll have a lot of fun with it i guarantee you <laughs> all right you guys blessings we'll see you next time bye